This is episode. Yeah. This is our. God, I don't even know which session we're on right now. We're in the it's teens. Like six, I, I guess how that happens on YouTube. YouTube series. I believe it's yeah. I don't know. I don't know which one we're on. I anymore. have us on session nineteen, but I also counted our session in Port St. Lucie as a session. So okay. So depending on yeah. what you count. So wow. So we're almost at twenty. 18. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so last time, um, you guys were traveling with Oak for a while. Rena had kind of just pieced off to do her own thing without really she informing okay. anyone. Um, even though you guys did leave her notes about where you were going, um, and Tamsin even left like a little red thread tied to a map of like, hey, here's where we're gonna go. Um, you managed to rescue a unicorn, which was pretty badass. Barely. It barely rescued a unicorn. <laughs> um, and you also fought off a very hideous blight creature um, that Oak seemed quite reluctant to get near at all, period. Um, Ooh, you also well. had a few moments with like just each other hanging out and getting to know one another. Um, Tamsin and Claudius, like, y'all are now best friends. <laughs> okay. You better be. <laughs> um, it's but, early stages of that friendship pregnancy. Friendship pregnancy? Oh, what are we doing with this? the audio recording, everybody at the table had the Tamsin exact same expression dad. of disgust and fear. You're both the dad. Why am I doing this? my dad. Um, but yeah, so that's... Uh, kind of the full summary of what happened last time. Um, Oak has just recently left you all on the path, and you can see just some discoloration in the sky that, Claudius, you know for sure, that is the direction of Watermill, the capital of Giron. Gotcha. And so that is where we are picking up, is you are on the road, Oak has just left you all, and beneath your feet is just cobblestone leading up towards the city. And it's probably another hour, hour and a half or so of ride toward the city, but you're definitely heading in the right direction. <laughs> and we made sure to hide and conceal anything. Yes, you did okay. take, yeah, you did take time once Oak was like, hey, y'all are getting close. You took time to like gear up and strap everything where it needed strapping. I'm wearing not my fanciest scarves, because I have some really fancy scarves, mm -hmm. but definitely a, a nice scarf. Do you make like a, a big deal out of like when she's getting ready? Huh? Is she, does she like make a big deal out of like... Not really. Oh. Just like, I got stuff people can't see on my head. <laughs> we gotta make sure that that is mentioned. Yeah. He's in the Vogue and it takes it. That's just nasty. <laughs> so before we get uh, too far along this road to the city, I want to just confirm what we are doing here so that we have a clear vision in mind. We are going to try to speak to the, the king, I believe, is the person that we are trying to find to find out why he stopped talking to Oak, correct? Right. Okay. And also shop. But that is secondary. And of course we have our own mission. Yeah. Shop. What is that again? Well, <laughs> I, helping out, seeing what the hell are we doing um, oh, mobile oh, like the grand scheme. Uh, grand uh, scheme. Uh, oh, you know the plot. Shit, yeah. Grand scheme things. Okay. If that makes sense. It was very confused for a second. I did not know what to do. Yeah. Keep an eye out for any merchant skilled coins and all that good stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if we found any of those. They are uh, pretty rare outside of the taste, I thought. They are. Yes. But we have already encountered crystals, so we should keep an eye out for that. And the merchants have been traveling around, so... It is possible right. that there is something about this culture that he has infiltrated just as deeply as the coins in the taste of them. Mm. Oh, on that topic, should one of us drop the uh, hashash? Possibly somebody who has not touched the stones yet, so that they are not quite as affected? Uh, or would say, no, how is the best way for us to detect these stones? Because Rena was traveling with us for a fucking week and we did not know that she had a stone with her. Well, I'm pretty sure that's because of our hush-hush. Yes, but, uh, so my point is, how do we account for that? If we want to detect these things and destroy <coughs> them, then one of us has to be able to find them. Uh, I, well, don't have a hush-hush. Yes, but you don't know even in there. 
don't even know what they feel like, and I don't want you to touch them because it sucks. I mean, I've encountered them without touching them, but I'm also not the most magic being in Sarah, I'm gonna pull out the hush hush from my braid and put it on the floor and see what happens. Ooh, yeah. Nothing. Nothing happens. It's fine. I'll do it. It's a proximity thing, though, right? I think we ran an experiment when we first got to Hush Hush. I have it, I have it written down in my journal that I keep. Um, <laughs> we ran an experiment and uh, there was something like a 50 foot radius. Mm-hmm. Is that the Hush Hush work thing? And then I'll just keep it in my bag. Or I'll give it to the boy and then I just like shove it in my hood. And I'm like, here, yeah, watch this. And you hear a, don't bite <laughs> And then it's just a very gentle. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Clarifying question. Mm-hmm. You're saying a hush hush needs anything within 50 feet. I'll find it. Um, we did an experiment. I thought you had to be holding a hush hush. We did. When we first got it, we did an experiment regarding how far the reach of it went. Mm. Yeah, but I thought that was as long as you were carrying the hush hush. Actually process it. This is a rocking chair. I thought that I wrote it down, but I did not. Um, it's I in Creeks. Yeah. It's in <coughs> it signs. But, <coughs> excuse me. Wasn't it the case that only one person was carrying the hush hush originally, but the other people were still able to be affected even though they were still within proximity of the hush hush? Question, is your name different now? Yes. Claudius. Claudius. <laughs> no <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I kept on thinking Taliban every that's why, time that's you were <laughs> <it. laughs> That's what I yep. said! I wasn't gonna call it Taliban, but... <laughs> Taliban is too close. That's why <laughs> so we switched it's it. Claudius? It's Claudius. Claudius, fantastic. Yes, the people on Claudius. the internet would have Claudius. Yeah. Okay, Taliban was so, a really, really good name. I was a huge fan of that name. However, comma. When we first got the hush hush, Current society. Unfortunately. When you were right next to it or holding it, you couldn't hear anything. At 30 feet away from it, you could hear murmurs in the back of your head if you had touched it. And at 50 feet, it was the full effect. Like if you're holding this gem and you're 50 feet away from the hush hush, you get the full effect. I'm just saying, if uh, you know, if we were trying to like jump levels or anything, you would need 2,000 more experience. <laughs> so we should probably correct something. I mean, like I think that. we'd be... We might get a better hint if somebody's not carrying a hush on them. Since we know how to destroy them, would it be more to our benefit to leave them here and deal with the consequences? Well, for those of you that have not touched them yet, I don't think it matters. Because if you have not touched them, you can't feel them. Right, that's But for you and I who have touched them... And me. Well, I... You're not Whoa! Whoa. Right now! Whoa! <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> religious <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I'm clutching the maps and the red string. So, yeah. <laughs> just like this and have like sacred flame ready. Like, you like the ah! hammer. <laughs> the product of silent steps. You were a second away from getting a fireball to the face, so I'm uh, glad that you announced yourself. Luckily, it's not another cross bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie like waves out the magic with her finger and is like, all right, so anyways. Like a match. Um, I was able to... Well, at least in large quantity, feel the effects of the crystals without touching them. Back when I was going through the jeweler's stuff, if I'm recalling properly. I don't see why this is a problem if I just remove the hush hush and there are no effects currently until we come into proximity, in which case I'm doing my job. Yeah. I think. Uh, for me, it makes sense if those of you who have not touched the stones yet, maybe keep your hush hush, and that way someone is protected if we need it. But for Safin and I and Rina, now if you are staying with, uh, where did you go? You <laughs> fucked up. I don't know where I you was, went. I was busy. I, I had things to do. You did miss the unicorn. unicorn. Ah, oh, fuck. Now we don't know if the unicorn would have liked you. Ooh. The unicorn definitely would have liked me. Oh. I can change oh that. Oh my! Wait, yeah. it's, like, it's just like, he's very uncomfortable. Don't, don't, That's it. don't worry about it. I think, <laughs> I think your idea of a couple people not having the hush hush on them all the time would be good. Oh, that's and then obviously we'll have them with us, so if something does happen, we can quickly resolve the issue. Okay. Uh, Claudius, I guess, if you're traveling with us here. This is mine. Now, if you encounter those stones, you should not be able to feel the effects. You don't have any stones on you, do you? 
I feel like we should start asking this. Any it's, weird it's a good story. It's a couple of stones, but that's what I'm looking Would Claudius have any blue gemstones on him? All right, cool. <laughs> we have to fucking ask now. Yeah, we certainly do, because... <laughs> we go to his new NPC. Infiltrated. Blue stones. Please okay. move all so, the you like rocks. You like rocks. Now, it is, it is roughly midday. Sun is Ooh. just about highest point. Midday. Sun is just about Ooh. highest point when you guys came up to the road. Um, and how long are you, like, are you talking while you're walking? Or have well, I'm, you paused? I'm doing a ritual. Yeah, you're doing your ritual. Have you guys paused to have this discussion, or have were you riding and walking? Talking and walking. I think yeah, I was talking and traveling. Okay. So, <laughs> now, it's very clear when you get closer and closer to Watervale. The tree line thins, the grass is still very lush and very thick and very green, um, but the sky on the horizon is a little less blue. It's a little more gray. And the closer and closer that you get to Watervale, you pass farmland. You pass you pass a, a, a fork in the road that heads off several different ways that even indicates that there's a quarry nearby that is off towards the south. Um, and what are the two of you doing when you get closer to Watervale? I'm muttering. Ah, Wonders of industry. A city on the moon. Watervale. So, <laughs> as as we're going, Thanks, I'm just gonna. I don't know. Do you have a horse? You don't have a horse. No, I'm just walking very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's, she's like power walking. Yeah. 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 Keeps, yeah. keeps me, keeps me alive. <laughs> Limber. I, Limber. I just like <laughs> reach an arm out. stealth checks. Mm -hmm. I reach an arm out. You want you. Walking for a long time. Thank you. Oh, I'm on your horse. But then, as you're riding, so where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> Captive um, audience. Good. I have a new bag on my arm that I wasn't carrying before. I mean, I guess you'll figure it out when we get to Watervale. You guys aren't the only ones with missions. Ooh. So. You guys get, so you guys get, do you want to do an insight check? I mean, I feel like I won't learn much from that, right? So. Okay. Um, so. Finally, you crest a hill, and you can see this towering city. Compared to this, White Flag is a village. It's a hovel. This is a tiered monstrosity of industry. You can see plumes of chimney smoke sweeping across the city. You can hear the thud, thud, thud of machinery off in the distance, which some of you don't even recognize. But for Angerod and Temzin, this almost reminds you of Adgord, where Adgord was built out on this like island that they just about created. This is an island of just cliff and stone rising up from the hills, and you can see the walled these walled circles that are so familiar in Adgord and where there everything is spiraling towers of stained glass and steel and light. These are these monstrosities of steel and glass and you can hear the clacks now across the cobble. You can even see people like calling out and the closer and closer you get, the more it feels like this is a very strange mirror of home. And that's when it really hits you that Hadgord was the first, they were the first people to leave Giran. Those first people to establish Adgord were Giranians. They took their city and they pulled it across the entire continent and they created it almost in duplicate. But where there you have light flashing and magic sending sparks across the air, here you have flames licking up from machinery and the smell of diesel and the smell of smoke. You can smell smog and something frying and there's just people everywhere. And you come to the gates of the city after crossing this bridge where there's people coming and going and there's carts and clacks and wagons and there are guards posted at the gates and they hold up a hand and the one steps forward. And, um, Hello, welcome to Watervale. Can you please state your intentions? I pull up my collar. 
<clears throat> I extend a hand to Rina and kind of lean out of the way. We're here on business. Um, are you headed for a specific business then, or...? The marketplace. And, uh, he steps forward and he presses a card into your hand, and he says, uh, do take care at the funeral tonight. And he steps aside. Of course, thank you so much. And he, and he, go ahead, you can, go ahead and insight check, and he... He just like murmurs something to the other guard and they wave you into the city. A nine! <laughs> You're not sure. <laughs> yeah. 15. Also doing an insight check? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll leave that up to you. That would be like a mid success. So, what would he see or what would he get from that exchange? Um. And remember that Claudius is Guranian. Yeah. Actually, I know exactly what he sees. Um, you happen to catch a glimpse of the card uh, just before she tucks it away, and it is what looks like a top hat, and it just says Grave Man's House around it. Wow. Oh. We going clubbing? We going clubbing. <laughs> That's a good name for a club. It surely is. And it's, you guys are waved into the city. And like this... this and this bottom, this bottom tiered part of the city does somewhat remind you of Atesa. There's more dirt here. There's, the cobblestone is is pretty uh, is pretty smooth and pretty straight. But the houses are a little more worn down. You can see that there's like kids kind of just running and zipping through. No one looks like they're super like high fashion here. The even the clacks like just from the one that you saw, you can tell that these clacks are a little more like people are getting their use out of these. What was the name on the card again? Uh, Grave Man's House. You wouldn't know that. You didn't do an inside check. But she's writing down the Oh, that's right. You have to keep notes. Sorry. It's, it's kind of important for okay. It's it's our dictation. <laughs> Alright, so where are you guys headed? Where? Someone died, you? did you know? Of course. It's very near and dear to my heart. Honesty. Sabine just, like, <laughs> just spits. <laughs> spits her, like, drug dip. Do you, do you like spending money? Spending? Yeah. Only on quality things? All right. Only fine. the best quality. You'll be fine. Don't and worry. Let's go to the marketplace. <laughs> okay. okay. Two Guaranians sitting in a hot tub. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, I don't have the map that I can present to you guys, but Watervale is set up into, like I said, several tiers. Through each tier, the uh, walls get a bit thicker, they get a bit taller, and the buildings get a little bit nicer. Um, there is a bridge that is sloping up because each tier is built up onto a cliff face that is roughly uh, 60 to 70 feet uh, going up, and you have to go up these yawning huge bridges, which it's very clear why no one really attacks Giron is they would have a hell of a time they getting to up be able to, to the top. Bossings. Bossings. <laughs> That's why I'm here. There is no war in Bossings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, King Boomy is... Uh, an icon. Anyways, sorry. Yeah, I know what that's all about. <laughs> I hear and trail. So... Oh, Which, so where are you headed? Are you sticking to this lower tier? Remember that you are on horses and you guys all do have like your gear and stuff with you. So are you headed into, like, are you headed straight for a marketplace? Uh, I'd say we should like, stable the horses and whatnot. Okay. I'd say we should probably stable our horses if we want to do any uh, good shopping. That is a good place to do this. Seems oh. like a big city. Do we know where we're staying tonight? We should probably establish that first. That's, yeah, Lafine that's... is growing increasingly more suspicious of Rinna as she sees the glee, like, continually approach on her face, and she's oh. like, you're, you're Are you familiar with this area? This is my home. Well, this part of I the mean, city... Not particularly. If we go a little farther in, I'd be very familiar. Are you familiar with... <laughs> Say a tavern or an inn there that we could yes, stay at. Yes, a tavern or yes, there is an inn that we can we can stay at. We're gonna find out. That Come on, is like check, the can I insight check like this? Like a senator's son who gets the out 
Uh, what are you? Time. What are you? Like, what did she say? <laughs> what did she say? I'm saying it's gonna get insane. Uh, what, did, what did she just say? She I said I said there's a tavern or an inn that I know that we could stay at. Okay. She secretly like. Can I, I just want to do an insight check to see like if there's any kind of like tells or if she's kind of concealing a little bit more than she's letting on. Actually, I should. I don't. I'm not. Oh wait, I'm very good at insight. What am I saying? <laughs> Uh, twenty five. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So she, uh, she def, she's. There's no sign that she's lying on her face. She definitely yeah, no. knows where she's going. So you just yeah. tell me well, which I trust tier you take me to. <laughs> yeah, we're going into mid. Let's go. Yeah. So, so Rinna guides you along these streets, and they're laid out very well. And a couple of times. Someone on a clack like swears at you as your horse almost gets in the way of their clack. Is it like grid and these, style? It is very grid style. Mm-hmm. I yell and back every single time. Yeah, and <laughs> and the clacks and the clacks are just uh, just all around the horses, up and down these these paths. And you eventually <laughs> yeah. get to a place called the Ballantre Tavern. And it seems to be a fairly well kept place. You had to end. You actually did have to go through another uh, gate, but they didn't stop you. It seems like this area is more just we're on patrol here, and they kind of give you a look over and they let you through. Um, and so you end up at the Ballantrae Tavern, and it seems to be fairly busy. There's actually someone uh, playing a lute by the fireplace, and. What do you, uh, is someone hanging out with the horses, or did you all go in? Got the horses in the back. Mm. Well, I am in position of the money, so I should probably go in. Remember, we'll stay outside with the horses. I was going to say, Tim's will stay outside, too. Because there are quite a few things. animals to yeah. <laughs> rile now. Alright, so you guys go ahead and enter in, and it's, like I said, it's Still fairly busy. It's later at the yams instead of the attendants. So. They actually, <laughs> this, actually, this place is it's just about as nice as the nicest places were in White Flag. A refurbished McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, pretty nice. The shitty ones too. But like, this place, know. rather than rather than just like a cobblestone or wooden floor, this is a very smooth, uh, polished stone floor. You can see like everything here is very lovingly tended to. And uh, a gentleman with long hair pulled up into a really tight bun steps up to you and he's, uh, good evening. How can I, uh, it's not even evening yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been a long few days. Uh, how can I help you? Well, um, we're looking for maybe a place to stay if you've got it. Uh, we certainly do. Um, I'm Tamar. It's lovely to meet you. What was... Tamar, nice to meet you. My name is Angrod. Angrod, it's lovely to meet you. Um, how many, uh, what is it that you're looking for exactly? Are you just looking for a night, or...? Um, I'm not sure yet. Do you have, like, a... Like a... We don't, we don't rent by the bed here. That's a bit... That's a bit lower for us, but <laughs> well, of course it is. We're, we're looking for rooms, and we're looking for a place to stable our horses. Oh, I can I can help you with both of that. Okay. And do you do a night by night basis, or will we have to rent for like a week? I can do either. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go night by night for right now. All right. Uh, I'm not sure how long we're gonna be here. That's fine. It's fifteen silver per room. Okay, perfect. How many rooms are we gonna need, y'all? At least two. <laughs> two. Tamsin is outside with Corona. I know. <laughs> also, I really thought he loved that you put the effort into doing the accent, but then gave him your real name. I didn't think of a lie fast it, enough. Yeah. There's six of us. Also, we're not here on nefarious for... purposes. Like, you're right. Yep. Yeah. Claudius. I don't know. He'll be right with us. How many beds are in each room? Two. Two beds a room. So How many people can fit in a bed comfortably? Uh... Depends on who your person is. Zero remembers. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got things that will fit everything from uh, from a goblin, really, all the way up to Goliaths. Oh, damn. Uh, one remember. Yeah, First so bed she's I'll, had. I'll need a Goliath bed. One of those, at least. All right. Uh, in one of the rooms. And then we could probably go with, uh, I mean, 15 silver. We've got the money. Go with three rooms. 
And then each person has bed themselves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And then um, <coughs> how many horses will you be stabling? Uh, that's a good question. One, two, three. And a dog. And a dog. Uh, the dog won't take up space. I can shove them in with a horse. Ah, oh, perfect. Love that. Then three. Three? All right. That'll be another 12 silver. Okay. So 16 per room plus 12 silver. 15. I've 15? 15 per room. Perfect. Yeah. I Love wouldn't uh, cheat you, although that would have been easy. You'll want to watch. Would have been really easy. I just misheard. But thank you for looking out for me. You're kind of folk. Uh, um, honest been... folk, but uh, thank Hail you. Hail Dredge! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so what is that? That's 45 silver. 45 silver for the rooms, and then another 12 for the Another 12 on top of that, so that's 57 pieces of silver. I just realized Mm -hmm. that these folks will not know what spell names are because they're ignorant. So if I was like, Eldritch Blast, they would have no (laughs) idea. But if I was like, Mary Poppins, they could be like, ooh. Lunches and suppers are not, but um, oh, we have that. We have that around. If you'll uh, be needing that. I'm converting. You just see rid of the basket. <laughs> no, literally, I literally was like, "How much can I take without them getting angry?" <laughs> Ooh, you got these fancy little soaps. <laughs> you take all those. <laughs> <laughs> you're the, you're the it's two, like, it's two gold, cart, seventeen. Like, oh yeah, yes. money. Yes. Yes. Fifty cents. <laughs> We like, save an in and I steal the wine. <laughs> Do they give us like a room key, like a physical key? Yeah. <laughs> Jackpot. He does, he does hand over three keys to Ingrod. I'm going to like turn my head towards Ingrod and put like my hands up as a wall. <laughs> Are this we going to be special. playing with like, or we're going to be paying for, you know? Okay. I have the power to film, so I can do it out there. Talk louder for the mic, y'all. Can I hear it? I mean, I'm not hiding it from I mean, you. Yeah, no, she's, like, she's doing, like, like, stage whisper. I've literally okay. just got... Have you seen a sight? I have, I have <laughs> no one. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll, I'll need some of the paper. Right? And there's no friends. six of us. He, he'll fit. I'll fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs> he fits in the one in the room. Between. Otherwise, we'd have an empty bed. Free labor, free labor, free labor, free labor. <laughs> and another mouth to feed. I'll cover up half his cost. It's fun. I've got. He's we, have a, we have funds purposely know. for this. It's nice to have another night. person who oh, is freaked out by it. Around. Make people feel this used. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I also really like how Safine's line is always another mouth to feed when she has never once canonically <laughs> bought food for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me. I purchased food for my boy. Thank you okay. very much okay. for my boy. Yeah. So uh, remember. Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts of uh, Claudius? They're outside. They're outside. <laughs> They're, and by this, and so you, guys, so you guys, so you guys, yeah. So start swipe outside to remember and that was a transitional end. bad transition. <laughs> <laughs> start swipe outside to remember and comes in. And while you guys are standing where, there with the horses, a young boy comes up, and which you guys would find out later is looks very similar to Tamar. And the boy kind of waves at you, and he looks up at the horses, and he's like. Um, I'll take those. I thought and you were gonna say he looked like Jimmy, and I was like, oh, it's like Nurse Joy, but Jimmy everywhere. <laughs> oh my god! Every city we go to has a Jimmy! <laughs> I think this does. one's Jimmy, um, and this one's Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. That would be Hello so there, do, do you. James, yeah. can I call you Jimmy? And he's like, reaching for <laughs> the reins. Uh, what are you trying to do with our, our, our horses? Well,. Dad said take him into the stable. Did you not want... Oh, you you work here? Yes, I live here. Okay, what was your name? Oh, hi, I'm... I'm, I'm going to call him Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Timmy. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, did Timmy. You... I, I'm Tenzin. I'm sorry, just somebody was coming up to our horses, so... Yep, uh, did you... Is it still... And he's just, like, pointing at the stables now. Uh, 
Uh, apparently so, yes. I am assuming my friends decided to get to room. Okay, and he just like walks into the stables with like, the horses. Keeps an eye on him because he knows what kids on the street do, and he doesn't know this kid. And you can see as he like very carefully <laughs> leads each horse into a stall and sets them up. Okay. So you were saying juvenile daylight plants. Oh yes. Uh, what are your thoughts about Claudius? No weirder than anyone else we've met so far. Well, he is a living being, I suppose, so... Living being. Listen, I've never really seen you be this aggressive with anyone. What's your deal? Well, I wasn't intentionally aggressive. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's your problem, Quincy? You haven't been like this with any of the rest of us. We've been just as shifty and just as many reasons to give you concern. Why is he special? Well, I was just trying to find out a little bit about him. And then things escalated. We kind of chatted. We're okay for now. I don't know. He's just somebody who's come in and is threatening the people in our group, in a sense. And so I was just trying to make sure that everybody here was safe. We have a job to do, and I want to make sure that job gets done. Did I miss him threatening someone? Uh, I said in a sense. Listen, did you go through my shit? Maybe. Did you go through Safin's shit? Maybe. Did you go through Angarad's shit? Quite honestly, it's, it's been a little bit long. I don't remember at this point. <laughs> I honestly don't. I think I went through somebody's stuff, but I don't remember who. <laughs> How about Rena? Did you go through Rena's shit? Well, I think um, I kind of owed her after I shot her in the leg accidentally. Mm -hmm. That's true. My point here is... You have not treated any of us this way so far. So this, I'm just looking out for the group. I'm just making sure that we're all safe. I don't trust an outsider thing. It's kind of bullshit. It's none of my business. If you act against him, it's his right to kick your ass. If he acts against you, it's your right to kick his ass. I don't care. We should all take care of our differences ourselves under our own power. However, this is personal. Whether you want it to be or not. I want it to be canon that Remember is in fact crocheting. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Maybe she's like nodding things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nuts. Yeah. Making a net or something out of rope. Yeah, she's making a net. Canon, done. In her spare time, she just got it over her shoulder like... Yes. Uh, yeah. Just coming for you. I'll have a way to make that sad <laughs> later. Ooh. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Fun boy. I don't know. I think things escalated more than I intended. They usually don't get caught. I was sleeping that night. That's all right. It won't happen again. Anyway, hopefully we can uh, figure out what's going on with the king here and progressing our uh, venture to gain more knowledge and intel on mobile. Yeah, I'm not buying it for a fucking second. <laughs> Fitzum is like starting to sniff at the ground and like kind of wander a little bit. <laughs> Sweet boy. Glendemar, guess what? What? They have a yeah. bed for you. Oh, did we come out? <laughs> come I'm out. establishing work here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say yes, because there's no way to end that, that conversation. She's corrupted. <laughs> She's like, they have a bed or two beds that they shove together. <laughs> he said they had a bed for the All right, well, we'll see. He's the version of just like a bed. It's like, like Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> now, for my own mental image, what is everyone wearing right now? Uh, Brown. 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 Because I know, because you guys have been like given different gear, I'm pretty sure I managed to get you guys the sketches that I drew up of the things you had purchased. So I'm just trying to get a sense of what you're wearing. But she's just wearing the same thing that she always wears. Okay, so the brown leathers and yeah, the cloak and stuff like that, and you've military got coat, military trench coat, um, gloves with mm -hmm. with the uh, no, it was punch. East point. East point. <laughs> it's and then oh, Rina. Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> what? No. 
What what is Rena like wearing? Rena's wearing the same clothes, but her hair is not down. It isn't a knot. Okay. It's still what, braided, what, but it's a knot what braid. Do your clothes look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are brown and green. They are pants. It's just pants. The waistline is different. It's all very like, like it's all very like form daddy's. fitting and like I movable material. Mm. Um, a light. There's like a light. It's not a cape, but it's like a coat type thing. Is it like one of those half capes that like come just to your rib cage kind of thing? You like. Yeah. Well, kind of. No. What kind? What kind? Is it <laughs> when you say when you say coat? Do you mean like with sleeves? It's okay. It's like a cape, but like there's holes that my arms come out of. Okay. Yeah. So a proper cloak. Yes. Nice. Okay. And then which of Angerod's outfits is she wearing? So here's my dilemma. Uh huh. I was told that it wasn't fashionable to be wearing what I was wearing, and that would be a big problem. Okay. Oh for no! Angerod. What are you gonna do? That would be a big problem. Okay. They don't have to fix it. Um, it's like the clothes that she bought with three feathers, like, sticking up. <laughs> like, yeah. shit she found on the road. <laughs> but she altered her Anything curls. shiny. Yeah. Um, no, so here's what I would have done. I have what I bought. So the kind of drab corset that's the lined one. The reversible, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then one of the simple, like, kind of green dresses. Mm-hmm. But as I go... And as I am walking, or not as I'm walking into the city, but like at some point I would have taken in what everybody else was wearing in like Clacton and wherever else Mm -hmm. the fuck we were, and changed things subtly with prestidigitation. Oh, Because it's a cantrip, and I think I can do that. How long does that work last for? I have to find it. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's a minute. asses to jail. So just every I minute. Think. Just. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's up to the an hour. Oh, it's up that. to an hour? Yeah, minor magical trick. Light or snuff out a candle. Make a color smell mark. Okay, no. I might not be able to do that then. Okay. I would make it as fashionable as I possibly could, having seen what other people were wearing, but I'm kind of stuck with what I got, so okay. what am I going um, on but Basically what you would have done, like, probably if you're saying, like, from the time that you're just observing and watching, you would have seen bustles start to form as you go into the city, so you would have probably, like, as you guys got into the tavern, like, like somehow yeah. managed to pull your skirt <laughs> into, booty. like, a bustle, which... Yeah. Throw back to last year's when first got a bustle. <laughs> okay, so they've seen cat women and fish women, so I remember seeing the bustles go by, like, holy shit. <laughs> Does not doing? fucking understand that it's a dress or, like, a garden. <laughs> She's just like, oh my god. Where did they put your Garani in water? Thick, thick. All right, the milk is extra thick. Start calling thick on the side. She's gonna lose her shit if she sees anybody change out of one of those. Well, now she sees Angerod's, like the back of Angerod's skirt, kind of oh start to do the bustle thing. God, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? It, it is it? A- America, explain, explain. <laughs> it comes as, do, you, do you think? Is that how they are? Yes, for me, but it's a, it's a fashion. Admittedly, not one that I wear, right, but it is a fashion. Are they it's worn like that? It's a dress. It, it's part of the garment. You put like a cage on and then you drape fabric over it. Admittedly, I would have to find something that is more current to the city, but uh, this would do for now. What do they keep inside the cage? Their hopes and dreams. <laughs> that dignity. Not too. Their legs. What dignity. So anyways, um... We have I didn't think it could get worse than a thing. We do so. have things to <laughs> Here we yeah. are. Are we all set with the inn? Yes? Mm-hmm. Into the in, city? Down in, for it. What the hell? Alright, so... Let's get where are oh. you headed? I thought it was like a baseball game. Um, I thought somebody was outside. Let's head into nice like the main shed. mid-market place. Is okay. It, it, is it, too loud is, no, it's okay. Is Fitzum coming with you? Or is Fitzum... Sweet. Um, 
Probably not. I probably have to stay with the horses. Okay. So, time. Timmy goes ahead and sequesters them back into the stable, and Rinna begins to lead you guys through the city. And unlike White Flag, which was pretty much just the open road, here the road is actually set down a ways, and you actually have raised walkways on either side where people are actually traversing. Everything else down the middle is full of the clacks which you can see as they whenever they sit down at the edge of the roads um the step is actually perfectly in line with that raised platform so people don't even have to step down they literally just step out and keep going that's cool um and you do she leads you towards what seems like a a fairly big like market street there's tons of uh buildings that are hawking different wares you can smell different foods there's people coming and going out of different stores um so you just tell me what it is you're looking for and i have a list that i have to get to you guys but i have my list of everything really Close. quickly i just want to point out that you never asked what times in Remember, we're wearing for our exciting Duranian fashion mission. I know what Thames is wearing. What is Thames is wearing? Thames is wearing his gray cloak with his gray pants and his gray shirt and his sash. What did you ask? I mean, Maybe it's technically a robe. <laughs> <laughs> what is and what is remember she's wearing? Wearing, she's wearing a gray sash. <laughs> Remember is wearing what I would like to call winter remember, which is just remember with boots and the remaining tit covered. <laughs> I've never, wow. I don't think I've ever been to Waterville. Ooh. Yeah. I'm in awe of the size of this lad. You're a, you're Absolute a country, country oh, boy I, going to New York. I'm not trying to show it, but yeah, yeah. I'm like kind of a wide-eyed. I'm just... Oh no. Ah, the smells of the city. We have a costume cool. shop. It smells like trash. You want to get to a costume shop? Yes. All right. Costume. Let me... Where's uh, m money? <laughs> <laughs> See everyone? See all... Not you. See everyone? <laughs> See all their pockets? That's where the money is. I, I don't... I, <laughs> all their pockets are full of money. I like how she parts us like this. Ain't not you. <laughs> that was Unless one. everywhere. They, they don't like it. They probably don't. I, the, um, I would like go to a little farther into the city. It'll get part. more expensive, and the money is more. Okay. What? Uh, I'm sorry. I thought that I had Side this like Rina. saved on here. Tim's and... in here is Rina, and he just kind of like chuckles to himself, thinking about his past young days when that was his truth as well. <laughs> <laughs> Live your truth, Tamsin. Live it. <laughs> Where? I'm so sorry. I, I had it saved before he. Live picked... your truth. Aaron is like our campaign hype man. Before, Honestly, before he picks yeah. the pocket of the wrong like one. <laughs> I like that super fan that starts the weird like fan fiction online. Yeah. I got, like yeah. the merch design. Wait, no, now I have to know what fan fiction would you write. I'm the founder of the fan fiction. Like and it was a tiny like cat. And then she was a candy and then for whatever reason that just like you missed it last time that was all what oh flurry that was all what it was it was quite a bit of like hair toss wiki face who did that am i allowed to do an inside check to see where the relationships are finally a fucking year in and it's a dating sim i've been waiting a whole calendar year damn Wait, who is Winky Face? I got an 18. We were discussing at length while we were making dinner. I got an 18. I'd like to know to where the strongest show. flirtation ships are. That's what I'm looking for. I'm Claudius reading them. And no one. <laughs> no, there haven't been any, like, Claudius like there, it, there's really rituals. no one who's very obvious Claudius that they wins. are, like, into each other. It's just everyone as a whole is very friendly. <laughs> Who's the friendliest with the other person, though? If you had, like, a Sims bar that measured what the relationship <laughs> status was... Um, you wouldn't be able to tell. Tell uh, would say emotionally unavailable. We literally <laughs> just... We literally it just like vacant, but also don't enter. <laughs> <laughs> vacant, but no vacancies. It's like, but the, sign, the, the sign that has 
like no vacancy and only one part lights up except for his can flashing. You, can you remind me his what ar your armor is, is currently? 16. I need to get better armor. You have a 16? Yeah, I'm squishy. That's okay. pretty good. I have 14. Yeah. That is my goal. Yes. I do not need to go first, but I definitely want to go look at weapons. Okay. I want to look at weapons too. Tim's in a remember. Go and buy sharp stuff. Back to our weapon hunts. I'm actually going to go with them as well because I do have. Oh no, I can't use that in public. Yeah, I'll go on the weapons hunt, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so you are, guys are, are, is armor going to be near weapons? Yeah, so basically you would lead them toward the blacksmith. Super cool. And this. Similarly to how it was in White Flag, has like a huge open courtyard area that you pass through um, from the street, mm -hmm. and it leads to a very nice shop front. And they actually have some weapons on display. They have like a bit of armor that's on display. But you can tell that the reason it's been set back like this is because the heat pouring out of it is considerable, and it's mostly for people's comfort as they pass. There's by. no firearms, are there? No, you don't yeah. see any fire. Is 16 a high AC? 16 is pretty high, yeah. It's no, it's very nice. It's pretty good. Especially for a, for a cleric. All right, well, I'll just leave it, I guess, then. I'll okay. just happily go around. All right, I'm looking Dude, for a place with big shirt. Okay. So, <laughs> so there's definitely... So you guys head in, stuff. and you actually see someone speaking with... Um, with another customer right now and they're arguing over a bit of chain just a length of chain and they're arguing over it and they're like no it's not going to be yes it has to be the four gold i can't do it for any less than that don't you see what you and they're just arguing back and forth and finally the person like nods and shoves shoves the chain at them and then they leave what is that oh, oh. It sounds like chain and door darth Vader. and so Oh. <laughs> um, and so yeah, the uh, the blacksmith yeah, with the is looping the chain around their arm, and they turn and, and look at you. And uh, yeah. can I help you? I remember, it takes the ukula and puts it down on the counter and says, "I need something die. better than this." Well, it's a decent looking down. spear. Yes. Do you oh, have goodness. anything better, or perhaps you can improve it? I uh, probably can. Yeah. Uh, what's it you're looking to? do with it. Hopefully more damage. And they and they kind of flip it around and they're I'm it was good for the environment the that oh, I, I made my pistol it in my but I am and traveling I'm like, more and I'm uh, encountering okay. different kinds of beasts okay. and different terrain and I want something that is a little bit more hardy, a little bit more adaptable. Hmm. I have two so uh, yeah Let's this is uh, this is a bit interesting. hold on just a second. And they hand you back the Akula and they head inside and they come back out with this hammer head. And it has a broken shaft on one end that looks like it's been splintered. And they thud it down on this big wooden table in front of you. And they're, um, so how do you feel about just adding something on? Like to the other end? Yeah. That way you wouldn't have to, because the craftsmanship for this is pretty nice it's definitely seen some things but uh so this is a dwarven hammer it um the etchings here and they kind of turn it to show you these engravings set into the metal of this hammer and they're like these are uh, apparently the victories it has ensured its past previous owner just sort of carved those in after everyone and um so it's fairly sturdy and it should last unfortunately the stuff it was attached to didn't fare so well and it went flying but this seems sturdy enough to hold it so oh oh see if i add that to the other end of my staff i can still use both weapons they'll just be different types of damage yes okay. they will be different damage and you won't be able to like flip it around and use it like every single like you'll have to decide I'm using this as this or like I'm using it as this. And then I have to like take an action to ready the other side. Okay. Exactly. Um, but yeah, and it is a two-handed weapon. Like that will make your yakula be a two-handed weapon. Okay. I don't. I think I have to keep my shield in order to do like the protection uh, specialization stuff. I like this idea. Do you have anything I can use with one hand? Mm, I've got 
probably something similar. If the bit, yeah, I can, I can figure out something. I fight primarily with a shield, also, so I'm worried that if I have to use two hands for the hammer, then I will lose that. Um, how long are you? Are you local or traveling? And honestly, who knows? If you've got a few days, then I can have something ready for you. <laughs> Who's in the building? I'm. Okay. Do you think we're gonna have to, like, we'll be here a couple days? It's a pretty big um, city. I think we'll be here a couple days. Alright, we'll be here a couple days. Alright, give me three or four days. Uh, oh, where are you yeah. staying? <laughs> we're staying at the. the it's, a, it's got in and it. Uh, it with is a Valentine. In Valentine. It's tight. The, the <laughs> one. I'm familiar with it. Um, Alright, it's a. Uh, if you give me 25 gold and your trust, then I'll give you something that will do exactly what you want. I'll give you the gold. All right. And, and my trust, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> all right. And uh, leave the, leave the spear other. here, and I'll have something for you, and I'll send word at the uh, Valen tray when it's ready. I'm excited to see what you can do. Thank you. And uh, what was your name? Remember. All right. Um, I'm Rosie, so <laughs> thank you. The first fucking merchant we've met who didn't go... I, you didn't tell it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted the merchant to be like, I will r- remember that. <laughs> so they, so they like look at the yikula again, and then they just kind of like lean it up against the wall near them, and they. Caliban and I are going to slip out of the shop. Claudius, Claudius, Claudius. Cinnabon nice. trademark. Claudius and I are going to slip out of the shop and head a little farther into the city to the fancy part of town to go liberate some money. Please rename him. Okay. Um, let me do <laughs> Let me do them, and then yeah, I'll get to... Because that's... Okay. That's another thing entirely. So sh- so they look over at uh, Temzin, and is everyone's there, then? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> so they look over the rest of you, and... Uh, hi. Um, do you have any specialty weaponry? Special team. How special? Uh, unique, perhaps. That's Something. the same word. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wasn't quite sure if you got that. Um, <laughs> Something perhaps <laughs> thrown or. <laughs> 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 uh, depends on what you're wanting to throw. <laughs> that's the mom eyebrows. <laughs> Something that's not your average dagger. <laughs> Wants a gun, but he's not allowed to ask for one. Um, what shape are you looking for? Um, hmm. Well, maybe something multi-sided, multi-pointed. So like a star. Yeah, that would be perfect. So like a throwing star. Exactly. Did you say that? Are the shapes optional? They're not particularly special. Square. I can... Well, I can, there's not a lot of places that make those. You haven't been to a lot of places, then. Well, like, I've been, been to here. quite a few. Not here. All right, well, welcome to Watervale. <laughs> I can have, how many is it that you're wanting? Uh, well, how much is it uh, per, per throwing star? Uh, I can do, I'll have to get the mold and melt them down, so I can do... I can do six for ten gold. That sounds great. Actually, can we make it to twelve? All right. You said six for ten. All right, so I pay the map. Them. I pay that. Uh, see, required payment up front. <laughs> you haven't asked. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sounds like a sounds like a good deal. Let's, I'll do that. I would like 12, please. All right, and uh, your name? Tamsin. Tamsin. Um, I can have those for you by the end of the day, I think. Perfect. All right, and... Um, What's the name of this blacksmith? Rosie. Rosie. Also, I just seriously limited the mercenary opportunities that we're going to have in the next two days because I gave away my whip day. <laughs> I mean, you said your unarmed strikes do... Oh, my unarmed strike does, like, six damage immediately, no matter what happens. Also, can I retcon and say that I went to a clothes store? Yeah, that's fine. While they were doing blacksmithy <laughs> things, 
That's I'm squishy and I don't use buttons. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Someday, Angerod's fashion is going to be very important to the plot. <laughs> when we get to Ger- when we get to Agdord, it's going to be very. Important. It's going to be very <laughs> important. Oh wow. <laughs> By the way, um, do you do any specialized arrows? Armor piercing or... No, that's not really, that's not really my thing. It was gonna be like magic! Creature (laughs) piercing. Well, arrows sort of pierce creatures already, so... I love how he just got an Alfred (laughs) Tamsin. Never mind. Alright, uh, half now, half when you're back for the stars then? That sounds fair. Thank so you. I thought you said somewhere. back to the stars. I'm like, where are you going? <laughs> and then they turn their attention to Safine. Were you just tagging along or did you need something? Just, you had to take in the sights. I really appreciate that the only person that was like, All right, great. chill was remember. <laughs> and then everybody else, they're like, mm, fuck you. Mm. All, All right. right. And so. Did you have anything else you wanted to do with the blacksmith? Or am I star swiping? <laughs> da, 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 da. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. I'm sure you get put in person. I'm not. You might. All right. Star swipe up to the finer, finer tier of the finer water tiers. bale. Um, here, for the record, as soon as we entered, I took my cloak off, flipped it inside out, because the other side is shiny, but still the same color. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Like fancy. Fancy coat. <laughs> All right, so the guards do give you more of a look, like they're memorizing your faces as you walk through, mm-hmm. but uh, you enter into this uppermost tier of water veil, and here the air is a little bit cleaner. Um, it smells a little bit sweeter. You can see flowering trees and flowering shrubs. And here, the fashion would probably make Angerod have a heart attack. You can see people walking by in these huge, tall metal shoes that have like feathers coming off of them, and some have like butterfly, like silk butterfly spiraling off of them. And they're walking with these, and they're walking with these very like they're spiraling steel canes almost to keep themselves upright. You see people with these bustles laid over cages that are full of live birds. Like, everyone is just, they are making a show of themselves, but they keep pausing to, like, sit on perfectly aligned benches because they cannot walk much in those clothes. Mm -hmm. This is like Psychedelic Oz. I love it. It is very much like Psychedelic Oz. (laughs) It's amazing. (laughs) There are guards. Here in the wealthiest area of Watervale, there are guards, and they are very much aware of you and Claudius, especially since Claudius, with all of this fashion and all of this, like, just, what is the word? Gaudiness? No, there's a word. It's the Met Gala. Yeah, it's just the Met Gala. It's like, and, like but there are there are guards patrolling here that were simply not present in like the mid tier and the lower tier. So are they also? Are you sure this is the best place to? Do you want to take money that they don't need or money that they do? Ah, uh, that, that they don't. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like that money they don't need. Look, don't you buy those shoes? If you want to go to the mid tier, that's where you take money they do need. If you want to take money they don't need, you do with the guards. Yeah, that's, that seems like more fun anyways. All right. A little bit louder for the mic. So we're going to go down some of the alleyways, try to keep out of direct sight of everything. Don't be, don't be outrightly sneaky. I thought she was going to say, don't be outrightly stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Not too. So keep my distance, but don't look like I'm trying to keep my distance. Yes. All right. This is gonna go. So we're gonna go up to one of the vendor stalls okay. that's like selling like food items. Um, okay. I'm gonna purchase just two things from that stall, like whatever kind of food items there are. Okay. These are very delicate sugar animals, mm-hmm. and so they have like a little beagle puppy, and they have like a phoenix, and they've got like a cat and a goldfish, and they're all on these sticks, and they are spun out of glass sugar. Oh, delicious. 
Um, how much is two of them? That's going to be seven gold. Holy! You'll make it back. <laughs> Thanks. Um, we're gonna get one <laughs> to share. <laughs> what is it? Spotted like sugar juice. animals. Um, how much were they have our them rooms? Not that much. Not that much. Sugar. What's the trend? Like, what's the? It's, it's twenty, 20 silver, silver to a gold. gold. Holy shit! Yeah. So a favorite. So the way we're going to work this is we're going to go away from the main area where everyone is milling mm-hmm. to where people are walking home. Okay. So with your... Now how is it that you're... Paint me a word picture. <laughs> how is it that you guys are strolling through this very fine area of yes. Watervale? We are... We have the sugar, sponge sugar arm in arm laughing like crazy. I'm trying to just, pretend. Just having a fantastic <laughs> time. <laughs> Uh, Claudius, I need you to roll performance. <laughs> Actually, I need you both to roll performance. Oh, man. That's a, that's a 16 minus 2. Okay. So, 14. Okay. I couldn't have gotten any better, honestly. That's a... 15. Okay. Nice. So, you guys, you guys are doing a fairly yeah, decent okay. job. Like, once in a while, you might laugh a little too hard and have to, like, change it up a yeah. little bit. But you look, you look comfortable in this setting. Fantastic. Okay. Great. So it's, we take some time sitting on a couple of benches. Okay. P- pausing, you know. Okay. Before it's, a little time has passed and we decide to stand up and walk towards where like more of the like uh, homes and things are. Residences. Residences. Are. All right. So how do we, how do we play this? Is there like a distraction or do we just like... If we see someone that is alone, I'll faint. They'll come up, talk to me, see if I'm okay. Come up to them, you know, being like, oh, what happened? Be not touchy with them, but touchy enough that it's kind and you can lift money from them. Yes? Agree. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could do it. I don't really want to go to prison, but. <laughs> All right. You can be the one who faints. I'll faint. You'll faint. Um, let's do, let's find a man who's alone. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Cool. 